story time of how I became an esthetician. I get this question the most, so I decided to make a video about it. Right after I graduated college, I worked for corporate for about seven years. I worked at this engineering firm in the accounting department for about five years, and then I worked at a bank for almost two years. The engineering firm I worked at was a pretty small company. So I always thought that I was missing out on like big company privileges, like the way I would see my friends. So I decided to look for a new job and I found this job at the bank where my cousin was working at. Found out that one of my friends was actually working at that bank and we were in the same department. And, you know, I did have a lot of fun at that job. My department was really young and we would hang out and do these things that I would see my friends do at big companies. But I still had the same unfulfilled feelings. And that's when I knew it wasn't the job, it was me. I decided that I didn't want to work for anyone else anymore and I wanted to work for myself. And when I was doing my research, I really landed on doing e-commerce. I thought that it would be pretty fun selling Korean skincare and Korean skincare was rising. When I was doing my research on that, I noticed a lot of the CEOs were estheticians themselves. And so I just thought I had to go to school, which kind of made a lot of sense because if I was going to sell skincare, I should have a good knowledge about the skin. And I started searching for schools around K-Town because that's where I lived and was able to find this school pretty close to my apartment. I enrolled a month later and I think about a month or two into school, I wanted to, you know, start e-commerce. And so, you know, I was looking at products. I bought some, was setting up my website, doing the price point and the shipping costs. And I realized that this was actually really stressful. And this is something I actually didn't want to do. And the reason why I left corporate was because I was so stressed out and this was kind of giving me the same vibes. So I decided that I wasn't going to do that anymore. And I realized I had so much fun in school and I really enjoyed giving facials. And so I decided to become and pursue an esthetician instead. This happened at the end of 2019 in the beginning of 2020 and I graduated beauty school and wanted to start my business but the pandemic hit. Couldn't do that for months and in June 2020 is when I was able to start my own business. So yeah, I actually started my business in the pandemic. There was definitely some challenges, you know, but because I was able to go at such a slow pace, um, it actually worked out for me. I was able to really take my time and building my website, building a customer base, like decorating my place. And so it really all just worked out for me in the end. I honestly wouldn't have been able to do this if it wasn't for my family. They really stepped in when I wasn't financially doing well because I wasn't making money anymore and really supported me and my new dream career. So yeah, that's how I started. I'm now located in K-Town. It's now been about four years. I love it. I love that I can make my own schedule and make appointments. This really was, I think, the life I was looking for. It just didn't happen the way I thought. So those who are thinking of changing careers, um, I think you should just do it. Just, just do it, start it, and you'll figure out everything at the end. So if you are looking for an esthetician to do facials for you, my specialty is face sculpting. I will make your face more symmetrical, lifted, toned, tight. Then I am here for you. Come find me.